Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of RC Classic Garage. Today we'll be taking a look at my 1959 MGA Twin Cam and discussing what's different from a normal MGA, but also what the big issue was with these cars back in the late 1950s. The first thing that sets the MGA Twin Cam apart is its rarity. It was produced from 1958 to 1960. Production was relatively limited due to the issues the car had with its engine in the late 50s, and only 2,111 units were produced. It was 1,801 roadsters and 310 coupes. This rarity contributes to the twin cam's desirability and collectability amongst car enthusiasts. And while the MGA and the MGA twin cam share many similarities, there are a few differences that set the twin cam apart, both externally and under the body. Let's start externally. There were a few visible differences in the body compared to the normal MGA. It was the Dunlop knockoff wheels and the discrete twin cam badges, which are fixed to the top of the bonnet and also on the boot lid underneath the MGA logo. From an interior perspective, the instrument layout is almost the same as a normal MGA. The instrument fascia panel was however given a facelift by being tastefully covered in leather. Under the body, there were many more differences. The chassis did differ slightly to that of the normal MGA, and there were important changes to the brakes and wheels. Twin cams were fitted with Dunlop disc brakes, both front and rear, together with the Dunlop center lock wheels. The steering rack was also different and the twin cam had stiffer suspension components and a larger front anti-roll bar, enhancing its handling and cornering capabilities. The most significant difference between the MGA and the MGA twin cam lies in the engines. It featured a more advanced 1.6 litre engine with twin overhead camshafts, hemispherical combustion chambers and dual SU carburetors which gave it a higher performance output compared to the standard MGA. It boasted approximately 108 horsepower, while the standard MGA produced around 68 horsepower. Problems with the reliability very early on in its production life affected the sales of the MGA quite remarkably. And despite its sparkling performance, the car was regarded as a commercial failure due to its cost, reliability, and stiff competition from Triumph and Austin Healey. MG's biggest problem was a poor reliability, which in the main was caused by the very high compression ratio necessitating perfect ignition timing and the use of top grade fuel. With either not at optimum, holes would very easily be burnt in the pistons. This coupled with the engine's large appetite for oil caused by chrome rings and chrome bores soon earned the twin cam a bad reputation. These problems were attended to by the engineers at MG but only remedied just before production ceased in mid-1959. In the short production life of just two years, only 2,111 examples were produced. This car must have suffered the same issue, and the solution at the time was to replace the MGA twin cam engine with the standard 1500 engine. Unfortunately, this has happened to many MGA twin cams. And these twin cam engines have now become very difficult to find should you want to return your car to its original spec. When I bought this car 12 years ago, I did so because it had such a good rust-free body and chassis. And I have always had the desire to find an original twin cam motor and return the car to its original spec. But as I say, these motors are becoming very difficult to find as many twin cams have had their engine replaced and many owners found themselves in the same position as me. However, this does not change the handling, steering and braking performance. And to truly appreciate the MGA twin cam, you have to experience it on the open road. Its agile handling and responsive steering make it a joy to drive, whether you're taking on a twisty country road or cruising along the coastline. Overall, the MGA twin cam stands out as a special variant of the MGA, which quite rightly has its niche in the MG history book. Distinguished by its powerful engine, improved braking and suspension, and limited production numbers, make it a sought after classic and sports car today. 
Thank you all for watching another episode of RC Classic Garage, where we took a look at this 1959 MGA twin cam and what makes it special compared to the normal MGA. Thanks again for watching and see you all next time.